Bilateral relations between India and France are in focus during French Foreign Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian's three-day visit to India. On Tuesday, he met Indian Foreign Minister S. Jai Shankar. Both sides are keen to expand cooperation in what's become known as the Indo-Pacific region. Cooperation in the maritime domain is an essential part of the relationship, as was evident in the recently concluded naval exercise La Perouse, which saw French and Indian naval vessels on maneuvers with those from other nations. And joining me now is former Indian ambassador to France, Rakesh Sood. He's currently a distinguished fellow at the think tank, the Observer Research Foundation in Delhi. Ambassador Sood, welcome. Now, Foreign Minister Ladrian's visit is in the wider context of the so-called Indo-Pacific region. What does France expect from India here? Well, France is, uh, I think, the first of the European countries that has, because of its long-standing presence in both the Indian Ocean as well as in the Pacific, because of its overseas territories, I'm talking about the French Polynesian Islands and the New Caledonia in uh, the Pacific, and I'm talking of the Reunion Islands in the Western Indian Ocean. Therefore, France has always had uh, shared the notion of the Indo-Pacific in the same manner that India has. And now what is happening is that uh, two other European countries have come out with Indo-Pacific strategy papers, Germany and the Netherlands. So I think this concept is something that has caught on. And EU itself is working on an Indo-Pacific strategy uh, paper at, at the moment, even as we speak. So it is quite natural that the maritime cooperation reflected in the shared perception of the Indo-Pacific would be a major pillar of bilateral cooperation and discussion uh, during Foreign Minister Lazrion's visit. I'd like to focus a bit on this maritime uh, partnership that you were referring to. Uh, both countries, India and France, their naval vessels were recently part of the French naval exercise La Perouse, and they'll be beginning a bilateral exercise, Varuna, uh, in about two weeks' time. Uh, what is the component of this? Is this essentially a security component in the Indo-Pacific we're looking at? Well, Varuna has been taking place for uh, more than 20 years now. Uh, it is a bilateral naval exercise between the French and the Indian navies. And uh, this year, we are, uh, it is, I think we will also have an aircraft carrier group on both sides, each participating in the exercise. The exercise Le Perouse that you just referred to which has taken place earlier this month, uh, is an exercise that involved the four quad nations, as well as France, indicating the French willingness and desire to be in a cooperative relationship with the Quad as well. As you know, Quad is not an alliance because uh, India is not an allied, India is not an ally of the United States, unlike, say, Japan or Australia. But the Quad is a partnership because uh, the four countries share the vision of an open and independent Indo-Pacific, which operates according to rule of law. Now, that is a principle that France also uh, shares with the members of the Quad, and hence the exercise Le Perouse. Over and above that, India and France also have a shared vision of a blue economy because of uh, the long coastline that India has and the coastal communities, which are particularly vulnerable at times of climate change, and the island communities that France has, as I mentioned earlier, both in the Indian Ocean and in the Pacific. Therefore, France is also acutely conscious of the need for sustainable blue economies. We have about 30 seconds left. If you could just uh, talk a bit about the bilateral ties between India and France, and uh, what are the other areas of this relationship? Well, France and India have been strategic partners since 1998. Other ties are, of course, the economic ties, uh, particularly in the field of smart cities, high technology, in the field of biotechnology, in the field of space, space cooperation, and in the field of counterterrorism and intelligence sharing. These form the pillars of the bilateral strategic partnership. 
that has been in existence with France since 1998. We'll leave it there for the time being, but thank you so much for joining us. Ambassador Rakesh Sood speaking from Delhi. Thank you so much, sir.